Hi, let me show you how to use WPML to automatically translate your whole site. I have an online store built using the Astra team and Elementor. I have the main shop page. I have single product pages. Then some standard pages like About Us. And finally, I have a blog with some posts. OK, let's translate it. In the WordPress admin, I go to the plugins page and activate WPML. I first need to set it up, so I click the button to configure it. The setup wizard guides us through every step. First, I select the languages I want to translate my site into. I'll add Spanish. Next, I need to select the URL format. The default option is fine, so let's continue. Now, I need to register my site. Here, make sure you're logged into your WPML account on wpml.org and then simply click the link to get a key for this site. I am taken directly to my WPML account and the wizard for registering my site. I'll select that it's a production site. OK, so I need to select how many credits for automatic translation I want to assign to this site. When you buy WPML, you get a generous amount of these credits and they're enough to translate a bunch of content. I'll assign 10,000 credits now. I can easily add more later from my WPML account page. OK, finally, I copy the registration code, go back to my site and paste it into the wizard. Next, I need to select how to translate my site. I want WPML to translate all my content automatically, so I'll go with the default option. Now I need to decide how translations are published, with or without reviewing them. I want them to be published immediately, but with an option to review them later. And here I need to select whether WPML should start translating right after I finish this wizard or wait until I tell it so. In this case, it's OK to start right away. OK, now I need to say if I want to share with WPML team which plugins my site is using. I strongly suggest selecting Yes here because it allows us to notify you if there are any critical updates regarding plugins you're using. Also, that's the only information that will be sent over. Nothing else is shared. And finally, we can select additional WPML components to install. Here, you should keep string translation selected, and since this is a WooCommerce site, I definitely need WooCommerce Multilingual and Multi Currency. I'll also select Content Form 7 Multilingual because I use Content Form 7 on my site. OK, that's it. I finished setting up WPML. As my site uses WooCommerce, I am automatically taken to the WooCommerce Multilingual setup. If you don't use WooCommerce, you'll skip this short part. We can continue and let WPML translate store pages. I have no product attributes at this time. I'm OK with using only one currency. And now I need to select how to translate my products and I want this to be done automatically. And that's it. The whole setup is done. As you can see, I was taken to WPML's translation dashboard and the site is being translated. Automatic translation is really fast, so after a short while, it's done. <laughs> that was easy. Let's check the front end. I switch to Spanish and it works. My shop page is translated. Let's click a product. OK, let's check the About page. And let's see the blog. Nice, the posts are fully translated as well. Finally, if I take a look at the footer, I can see some text that's not translated. This text is coming from the team's footer settings and is not part of the posts, pages and general content. No worries, you can easily translate these with WPML as well. And this is where WPML's string translation comes in. You can read more about it in our WPML string translation documentation. 
The very last thing to show you is how to review automatic translations. If you remember, I selected to publish the translations automatically with an option to review them later. And this is really easy. I just go to WML Translations page and I can see all translations waiting for a review. I click the review button next to one and then I see that page on the front end. If everything looks good, I can click to accept the translation or to edit it. And that's it! That's how you translate your whole site automatically using WPML.